2022 fashion trends and why they don't really matter. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. It is the start of a new year. I'm a little late, I'm a little late, <laughs> but it is the start of the new year and we need to talk about some new trends. So I'm saying the word new, but what I really am thinking is, here we go again. I have told you guys about a lot of these trends already, from some of them from 11, 12 months ago. Um, for example, I talked about platforms in this video. They are platforms and the lifted loafer. The lifted loafers were seen at Todd's, Prada, and Max Mara, while well, platforms were seen at Versace and Prada, right? So that really big, chunky 70s slash 90s style is totally, totally back. And it has been, but it's continuing. And I also talked about platforms in this video. Platforms are also in style, and they've actually been for the past um, few months. Um, YSL has done a fantastic job with their their recent platforms, and um, yeah, if that's another thing, that's also something that was in in the early 2000s, um, late 90s, I believe, and of course the 70s. So uh, if that's something you love, go for it. It's totally in style. I feel like. After the pandemic and we slowly go outside, people are going to be just like dressed however they want to and dressed to the nine. Again, platforms are in and are going strong. They even have come out with like shoes that I didn't think I would ever see again. If you are my age, if you are a millennial, you have seen this trend already. If you are a millennial in your thirties, I don't know about the younger ones, <laughs> but the platforms are around and it doesn't look like they're leaving from Valentino to Versace to even Steve Madden who have made almost an identical dupe. <laughs> to the higher end brand. So if this is a trend that you are loving, but you really are not trying to spend that money, Steve Madden, as usual, has got you covered. And like I said in that other video, <laughs> they have them all over the place. And in, and in trend right now, they are offered at so many different price points. So the next trend that I have spoke about for probably over a year right now <laughs> are the big bags. I spoke about this trend in this video. Your whole, your big and hobo bags. The Bottega extra large beautiful hobo bag that not everybody's going to be able to afford but everyone could love <laughs> has many different options and many different dupes dsw guys look at this one this this dsw woven bag is not as big as the jumbo but it is kind of giving me jody somewhere between jody the bottega jody and the extra large hobo it's giving me that type of vibe it looks very very cute um stowed has tons of hobo options so if you don't care if you don't want it to look like Bottega, if you don't care about the weaving, stowed, stod, stowed, which one is it guys? <laughs> they have tons of options that I've been looking at for a long time if you like a big bag. And if none of that is good for you and you really just want a Bottega bag, I would strongly suggest going on the secondhand market is what I did. I went in Fashion File and I found a nice big Bottega hobo. And also in this video, oversized, Big bags are now on trend, amongst other things, but this first one was just really interesting to me. So again, big bags are still here. What's great about a lot of these is that if you bought something that you really love, any of these trends from last year, from a few months ago, you can still wear them and feel like you're on trend, if you care about being on trend, right? So big bags are still a thing. I speak about the, the extra large Bottega. They ha There's just so many out there. Put some in the description box below, but they're still here. And I've been telling you guys this, right? There is even a trend in particular that I've been telling you guys about um, that is horrifying. 
But anywhere you look, everybody is talking about low rise jeans. And I spoke about them here. It terrifies me that low rise jeans are back and that some people are wearing them. I just cannot do it. When they came out the first time, it gave me a muffin top. I'm a grown up this time. I can't have my wares showing, um, like my thong and everything. Like I, it terrifies me that the low red jean is back. I'm terrified. Okay. We're back. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words because I've said this about four or five months ago because I saw it on the horizon and they're back. They are here. Will I be participating? Absolutely not. No. They just never work. They never look good. Just immediately no. Immediately no. <laughs> no. No. But if you are a person that looks good in them or loves them, they are here for you. Staying with pants, boot cut pants I've been telling you guys about, um, wide leg pants, all of those baggier pants besides the skinny jeans that we've been wearing for a while now are on trend this season, this year. So if you are a person who likes that, um, it's a good time, like those styles, excuse me, it's a good time to kind of rack up on all the baggy trends, the, the boot cut, it's a great time because they're not going to be around forever. So the next trend that everyone's talking about at this point is color. Color, color, color. And you guys, I've spoken about color in this video. Let's talk about colors because colors are very important. This season, we are going for really saturated, beautiful colors. I'm actually extremely excited about a lot of these colors that are coming up. And I also spoke about it in this video all one color um, and maybe different tones and different textures but now we're back to the 2011 co color block and I am excited now will I still wear a monochrome if I want to absolutely I wear it I want when I want but the introduction the reintroduction of color blocking is just I don't know it's exciting so yeah guys the same thing that's carrying right on over we want big bold beautiful colors colors match together um, that are bold, right? Color blocking, um, bright, beautiful. This year's color of the year, which is a violet purplish color, right? It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. Use that and, and go with it. Color, color, color. The, the days, or so people say, the days of minimalism and neutral colors are gone, according to the fashion folks. So if you love color, you are in luck. Now, as for me, between neutrals and colors, I'm a girl who goes back and forth. Right now, I'm in a real neutral phase, um, probably because it's the winter, January blues. But by February, when that comes around, I'll be adding some more, some more color. So yeah, color, 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 color. So one of the things that stuck out to me while researching for this video was mini skirts. Mini skirts are back. Mini skirts and maxi skirts. Midi, like right in the middle, are taking a back seat because they've been on the forefront for many, many uh, seasons. But the mini skirts, the mini skirts are for children. <laughs> like for example, the one that I saw on the runway it's just, I, there's no way, like my big toe probably couldn't fit in this skirt. My cheeks would a hundred percent be hanging out, okay? <laughs> and I'm too grown for that type of look. Now, many skirts of old that are looking like a schoolgirl kind of pleated, that's not what we're looking for. We want a straight streamline type of mini skirt. And for me, they're going to have to be a little longer than what you are seeing on the screen right now because I cannot. <laughs> I can't. That will never work for me. And in fact, my hips won't allow it, okay? So, so if you are the type of person that would love to wear that, we don't judge around here. Your style is your style, mine is mine. If you are the type of person that would love to wear that, you are on trend. What's really good about these trends that I found, and there are more, but I like to just pick out the few that were interesting to me and the ones that I've told you about before, um, is that we can shop our own closet. 
I feel like social media and you know YouTube and Instagram and just everything has really has really taught us that we need to be buying all the things and we don't now will I stop shopping altogether no that's just insane will there be another haul coming at some point in life most likely definitely right but I and all of us really need to consider how much we're consuming. I love that a lot of these are still on trend and some of them like colorful things can still be a classic if you are extra colorful person. The mere fact that I have told you guys these trends um, for two seasons now, for about a year ago, right? I've told you guys these trends just kind of shows me that though trends are fun and I look at them every season as soon as fashion week is over or during fashion week I am just eating up all the trends for the next season um, as fun as I think they are what's more important is finding your personal style I did a video last year sometime about how to find your personal style and I really dropped some gems personal style is about feeling your best and feeling yourself all the time. So don't be afraid to try different things, whether it's a new lipstick or a different color. Um, and I think it's important for all of us to really know that just because we don't like it, doesn't mean it's not fabulous, right? So just because I don't like those Prada chunky boots or they don't really resonate with me, that doesn't mean it's not fabulous for somebody else. So you guys, my goal here on this channel is to help women feel their best whether it's through my education, my discoveries, my purchases, my experience, I want to help you all feel your best. Um, so I don't, I'm not here to make you look like me or to have my style. I'm here to help you find your style. I'm here to help you find what good hair products work for you. I'm here to find, to help you find what the best perfume is for you through my discoveries, through my education, through my experience. So don't feel like when you watch other bloggers that they want you, well maybe they do, I don't know. Don't feel like you have to do exactly what they do to look as good as they do. So finding your personal style, as stated in that video, is extremely important. Again, there's nothing wrong with a trend, nothing at all. In fact, I've even explained to you the difference between a trend and a fact. Trends. I feel like it's important for me to distinguish the difference between a fad and a trend. A lot of times when people watch trend videos, they leave comments um, suggesting that they don't follow trends and they wear whatever they want. Um, they also make comments like, uh, yeah, I don't really participate in trends. And they totally remove themselves from being part of the trendy crowd. So the fact of the matter is, whether we realize it or not, we all participate in trends. So let me just define what a trend is and what a fad is. A fad is a short-lived moment in fashion where everyone is kind of doing the same thing, right? Um, examples of this would be when people were, I think it was 2019, people were tying their shoes around their pants. That was a fad. In the 2010, around that time, when people were wearing flower crowns, that was also a fad. And when people were wearing those tiny, tiny glasses in 2017, um, also a fad. It came into fashion and then it went right back out. It wasn't around for that long. Now a trend is something within this fashion space that everyone wears but goes on for season after season. Now it might not be the same trend every season but it goes on for season after season. For example, skinny jeans. There's a big uproar about skinny jeans right now because they were on trend right for so long now people don't want to give up their skinny jeans so skinny jeans came into effect I don't know how many years ago for it's been a while but they have been on trend for season after season after season as opposed to something like the flower crown or when people were um, everyone was dying their hair gray so there is a difference between a fad and a trend and like I said whether you believe it or not we all participate in trends even if what you're wearing is not the trend that's at the forefront of fashion right now you are still participating in a trend that was conjured up by the fashion by the fashion folks right so trends are not that scary when you think about 
um, the difference between a fat and a trend. If you are wearing a wool coat or if you are wearing a pea coat or if you're wearing knee high boots, you are participating in a trend. Now, there's a difference between fad, trend, and classic pieces. Classic pieces like your button up white shirt, your black slack, those are used as an anchor with your fads and with your trends. Right. And all this just really proves that personal style has to trump trend. It just has to. Your personal style helps you save money so you're not just buying everything. Your personal style um, helps you feel better about yourself. I really suggest, and I'm not just saying this in my own video, but I am telling you, I really really suggest you go watch that personal style video and take what you need from it and build, build, build. I will always do a trend report. In fact, I'll probably do one for spring and summer <laughs> because these are the things that I love. I find it very interesting. I find fashion interesting. I find the history, the business, all of it. I love every single aspect of it. So I will always do this video, but I will not always participate in every single trend. Why? Because I know my personal style. Anyway, you guys, that's it. That's what I wanted to bring you. I wanted to show you what's going on, what you should be getting ready for just a little bit. For spring, summer, I will have a more detailed one um, for funsies, <laughs> right? I have a more detailed video. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.